you'll never feel with a clean heart with all that you do and all that you've done the fact that you gave your only son you think they'd all cry glory hallow be thou name most excellent most Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. How glorious is our Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. know who know that the lord is glorious amen in the name of jesus you just gotta know that he is absolutely glorious that he is majestic that he is sovereign in all that he does because he is the creator of all things amen in the name of jesus we were just listening to glorious by none other than the appointed amen hallelujah glory 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 be unto god in this place in the name of jesus if you like that sound you can go and pick it up in any of um the um music media outlets cd baby itunes you know things of that nature amen glory to god thank you jesus hallelujah we do want to welcome welcome each and every last one of you back in the church on tonight welcome to the in the church tv and radio broadcast where we are shining the light of god's word in the church on the good the bad and the ugly um, so that we may know the truth and the truth shall set us free. You know, we engage in all type of conversations in the church. Amen. Um, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. This month, this month, the month of June, we just happened to be in our Men of Faith series. And we are down to our last episode of the Men of Faith series. And I'm just absolutely excited about tonight of what we're going to talk about. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, with our guests, with our guests. Amen. So, before we go any further, let me just first introduce who I am. For those who just may be first-time listeners, just joining us for the first time, and, and again, we do uh, welcome you in 
the church on tonight in the in the church tv and radio broadcast i am your host apostle deron shay zorn with divine order restoration ministries international where we are restoring the order of god one life one body one nation at a time and it is such an honor to be in the church with you on tonight uh, we have a phenomenal program um, lined up for you uh, and the, the lord does and i'm just excited about what the holy spirit is getting ready to release in um this very hour in this very hour our guests we're gonna dive in conversation tonight just about nevertheless right nevertheless i i just believe that there's some people out there in the world there's some people under the sound of our voice and you even know some people that you are connected to that there may be storms there may be trials there may be tribulations uh, there may be things that you may not be privileged to and and things of that nature um but my god my god hallelujah thank you jesus i just believe god is just gonna minister to your heart and minister to your mind and minister to your soul on tonight i also believe that you're connected with some people who need to be in this broadcast who need to be in this broadcast so they can be set free in their mind and their heart and their soul uh, so that they would know amen i'm going to god in spite of the situation in spite of the circumstance in spite of their upbringing in spite of their hurt in spite of their pain in spite of their anguish their disappointments their let downs oh my god hallelujah thank you jesus uh, that the word of god is still true for their life i just believe on tonight of glory to God that you're connected with somebody around the world that need to be in this broadcast. So go ahead and share it on your social media platforms. On your social media platforms. Go ahead and send the app out. Amen. The radio app out to those that you know and just tell them to download the app and get in on this conversation. On this conversation on tonight. And of course, you know that as we're diving in our conversation that surely you can send you can call in at 563-999-1824 you can call in at 563-999-1824 now those who uh, cannot call in but you still want to dive in the conversation you have questions comments or even prayer requests you can send those over to us by engaging with us in chat on on the website in the church.com also on our facebook page in the church on our Facebook page in the church, um, you can um, dive in conversation with us by going ahead and um, and making any comments, putting any questions or prayer requests under the Men of Faith Nevertheless post broadcast, right? Uh, it, it is a, a broadcast that just went out a few moments ago. Glory to God that is actually this broadcast. You can just post it right there and we will engage with your questions, comments. Those that are on Spreaker, you can put your question, comment, or prayer request right there as well. And we will take care of each and every last one of those for you. Amen. Um, in the majestic name of Jesus. Glory. Glory, glory, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, we just bless the name of the true living God um, in this place for all that he's doing and what he's getting ready to release. So what we're getting ready to do, I'm going to get ready to introduce my host, uh, my, uh, my guest for tonight. Hey, man, where did I thank you, Jesus? Get ready to introduce my guest for tonight. And it's a very powerful, powerful, powerful man that God just really using in this hour to touch lives and souls all around the world. His very name appointed for such a time as this. Amen. For such a time as this, as God just wants to say, using him, he is using him. And to bring forth um, the gospel of truth. The gospel of truth. Um, and it's something that mankind needs right here, right now. Um, so that they can be saved. So that they can be saved. And, and I just thank God for this very humble vessel very very humble vessel amen um um who just love god not only love god but love god's people he loved god's people and amen and that glory to god and that he is just so open for god to just really really use him and, and god use him very mightily and boldly we bless god uh, for the works of his hand um um this this dynamic man of god you know he is the ceo he is the ceo amen glory to god thank you jesus of sensational 
soul. Amen. Um, in the name of Jesus. And, and, and I pray, hallelujah, that I got that right. Amen. Glory to God. I'll deal with it later. But uh, we bless God. I'm sorry, sensational sounds, sensational sounds. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, which is his um, radio station. His radio station um, that God uses to get up the sound. Amen. That God uses for him to, amen, release the sound um, unto the world for the kingdom of God. And so we bless God for that. Most importantly, um, one of the, the major things that I love about him, amen, he is also the founder of Enriching Words of Life Ministries, right? Enriching Words of Life Ministries. Hallelujah. Um, thank you, Jesus, uh, where he is teaching, preaching, equipping, and training others in the word of truth. In the word of truth, just absolutely love it um glory to god and how god just uses him so um uniquely amen so 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 uniquely and he has a unique sound and we bless god for that amen even as amen he flows in the prophetic amen in the prophetic uh, vein of god oh uh, glory to god he is a man that is very sensitive to the ear of the Lord. And so we bless God um, for that. Um, glory to God that his ear is trained. Hallelujah. Um, to the voice of God. To the voice of God. He is an authentic. He, he flows authentically. Authentically in the prophetic. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, we, got, we have all this stuff going on around. So that's very vital to know. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He is a kingdom builder. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. As he walked, amen, in his apostolic office, amen, he is is a kingdom builder for the glory of God. And and God just have so much work um, in store for uh, this dynamic man of God, that so much work that he is already doing, you know, as well. Amen. But we just bless God that God has marked out his life. Now he is, he is, he is, he is. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The husband, we, we bless God. Amen. Uh, of, of Lady Keisha Greenleaf. Amen. Um, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, glory to God. Got to make sure that we make sure we mention his jewel. Amen. His queen. Um, glory to God who, who stands beside him in this great dynamic work that God has called forth in their life. And so we love the ministry that they both carry. Amen. For the kingdom of God, you know, as, as God definitely uses her to uphold the man of, of God. Glory to God to strengthen the man of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. And amen. And whatever else that he uses her to pour into his life of um, glory to God so that he would be in that position um, to minister the way he do in the life and the souls of God's people. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory, 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 glory to God. I just want to introduce to some and reintroduce to others. Amen. Um, in the church on tonight, none other than the apostle Paul Green Leaf. Welcome in the church on tonight, Apostle. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you. Amen. Uh, and just glory to God. Amen. Just such an honor and a privilege to uh, be here. Amen. Uh, God is truly an awesome God, considering, amen, where I'm at at this moment. <laughs> amen. Uh, but he has enabled me to still be able to uh, keep my assignment. Amen. Um, I did send you a message, uh, woman of God, because uh, I just want to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be at. Okay, amen. amen. Glory to God. Uh, Thank you, Jesus. Um, hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I'm sending you one back over. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. And so, Apostle, amen. Glory to God. Just for we, So, we want to sort of welcome you in the church. We, we, It is a very important, vital part of business. We have to take care before we move. We got to pray. <laughs> Hallelujah. Before amen. Amen. We go any further into this broadcast. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So, uh, will you do us the honors? Amen. Of, of, of going to the throne. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. 
Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We just bless the name of the Lord in his place. I'm um, glory to God. Let's just go to the throne of grace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. For meeting us in the church on tonight. Yes, sir. Lord, we really under, we, we humble ourselves under your mighty hand as we commit this broadcast unto you so that you can do everything that you have already established in heaven that it may manifest in the earth as we humble ourselves and let you have full control on tonight. We thank you, O oh God, that your glory rests in this place and that, O oh God, that it will take over the airways and the network systems of the Lord in the majestic name of Jesus and that your glory, O oh God, will begin to saturate your children wherever they may be around the world throughout the nations and that as your glory fall and as your glory begin to reign and it begin to encapsulate your children, God, that shackles are broken in. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that strongholds are destroyed off of their lives, O oh God, that their mind is renewed in truth, oh God, and they begin uh, to have thoughts, the very thoughts that you have toward them, and that, oh God, that they ri- they will rise up, oh God, uh, in, oh God, in themselves, yeah, yeah. oh God, in you, uh, and rise up in the very word in which you have, uh, uh, Lord God, called out for their lives in the majestic name of Jesus, uh, and that they will begin, oh God, to move uh, and operate, oh God, in, in by faith and in faith, uh, as they walk, oh Lord God, in faith. In you, that minds, Lord God, are changed on tonight. As, oh God, your word that goes forth and penetrate and uproot out of the minds of your people. Lord God, everything that have been holding them in captivity, we're declaring, we're decreeing on tonight, oh God, in the church, oh God, freedom. That freedom will break free in the lives of your dear beloved children. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, almighty King, that tonight is tonight where they will see the salvation of you in their very lives. That even tonight on tonight, oh God, somebody that need to feel your love, that even, oh God, as we go forth tonight, that They'll feel it and that your love, oh God, will encourage them and it will strengthen them to let them know that they are not forgotten. That it will draw, Lord God, those, oh God, who have strayed away, that it will draw them even back into your bosom. It will draw them back into your hand. And that even on tonight, oh God, that the word will go forth that It will cause men to come into repentance and come into a place of alignment with your word where they will walk in the trueness of your power, no longer having a form of godliness. But my God, rising up and living in truth. We thank you for eyes, the blinds of the eyes of the blind opening tonight that the ears of the deaf opening tonight oh god we thank you lord god in the name of jesus uh, that those things that are dead resurrecting back to life on tonight in the name of jesus as we move and operate in your restoration power and in your power of resurrection oh we bless your name that even as your word go forth that healing to the heart and the mind of mankind will go forth where hearts are healed, souls are saved and uplifted, that will very destroy the very strongholds of the enemy and the lives of your dear beloved children. We thank you that the mute will begin to speak on tonight. The lame will begin to walk in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, have your way in the church, O oh God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, we're going to flow a little different, amen, 
than what we normally do in the church on tonight. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so we're going to change the platform just a little bit, just a little bit. And we're going to alter some things. Glory to God. Um, so we could just let God just move and flow and just have his way. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Now, I, I do want to, you know, just let you know again. Amen. That you guys want to come in and, and engage and get in in the church on tonight. And, and those who you know, to come in with us. Amen. To hear what God is releasing on tonight in the name of Jesus. And they can dial in at 563-999-1824 with any questions, prayer requests, or comments. We're going to open up a little bit later. Amen. Glory to God. Um, and begin to answer those questions, prayer requests, and comments. You can also send it over through our different chat platforms as well. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. But right now, you want to get them into the word. As we're getting ready to, the man of God is getting ready to go in the word. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Um, Hallelujah. And, and we just bless God for the word that's getting ready to be released from his belly. Um, but they need to get in the word, get under the word. Amen. Glory to God. Because it's going to be the word that sustained them in their very life. So if you know someone... Um, glory to God, who need to be strengthened in their faith. You know someone going through trials and tribulations, situations and circumstances. You want to get them in the church on tonight. Be a good neighbor. Be a good friend. Be one, amen, glory to God, that that will bring people, amen, will call people to come into the places um, that is that where they can come and eat the bread of life, where they can come and drink from the cup of Jesus Christ so that they'll never thirst again, so that they won't hunger anymore, so that they may be revived, amen, within their spirit, within their soul, so that they can move in the things in which God has called forth in their very life. We thank God for the vessel that he's getting ready to use tonight in the church amen i told y'all we're changing the platform a little glory to god thank you jesus but we thank god for the vessel that's getting ready to come forth on tonight we bless god in the majestic name of jesus that even as he's getting ready to go forth that he's coming forth with power that is coming forth with a uh, amen anointing that he's coming forth amen glory to god with words of of penetration and activation that transform atmospheres we thank god that he will be used very mightily and boldly to dispense the truth amen of god's word in the name of jesus apostle amen glory to god thank you jesus hallelujah um i'm gonna step back i'm gonna give you the platform amen um so that you can allow god to use you glory to god and then i'll come back Amen. Glory to God behind you. Amen. Glory to God. And then we'll dialogue. Amen. About this word. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Um, can everybody hear me clearly, prayerfully? You can. Amen. Let uh, uh, Apostle DeRange know that you can hear me clearly. Amen. First and foremost, amen. Let's just go to the throne of grace. Heavenly Father, we just thank you tonight. We give you glory, and we give you honor, and we give you praise, first of all, God. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity to come before your people, God. Father, I ask that you just anoint me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. And Father, I even speak to any pain that would try to come up against me during this time that I minister your word to your people, God. I speak even to interruption, God, in this atmosphere that you have set me in, God. And we just cover these walls, God, with your anointed precious blood, God. And we speak to the enemy, and we say that he is being given notice here, right now, in the name of Jesus, God. And even over the airways, God, we speak to any interference in the name of Jesus, God. And Father, we just give the glory and the honor, and the praise. Now, God, use me as you see fit. Not as I see fit, but as you see fit. And I will truly continue 
to give you all of the glory and all of the honor and all of the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. I'd just like to share a little with you, amen. Uh, some of you may not know, amen. Uh, first of all, give an honor to my lovely wife, amen, who is here uh, with us also, amen. And uh, I thank God we, we celebrated uh, the other day, amen, 12 years of marriage, amen. And we just thank God for that. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to be with her, amen, at this time. I happened to be in um, a rehabilitation center because I uh, got very sick, amen. The enemy was trying to take me out, amen. But we thank God, amen, that we realized, amen, it was nothing but God sending me on an assignment, amen. And truly, God has been doing some work right here where I'm at, amen, in Salem, Virginia, Rehabilitation uh, Center. Amen. Um, I tell you, just some awesome, awesome things have been happening here. Uh, God has um, opened up the doors, amen, for me able to minister. So uh, some of the staff, uh, some of the residents that are here, because not only is it a uh, rehabilitation center, it's also a nursing home. And what just really blessed my soul is, uh, at the time that I've been here, I've been able to meet uh, this other brother, amen, and the Lord allowed for us just to click for some reason, and I began to just witness to him and just let my light shine, and um, yesterday he was able to uh, come with us as I got some time to go out and uh, we went to uh, my brother's church here, my, my spiritual brother in uh, Roanoke, Virginia, and he was able to come and amen. And I tell you, uh, I, I don't even have to say what happened at the service. The service was anointed, got moved by his spirit, but it was what happened after when we returned to the rehabilitation center. Now, people have always seen the, the light on me, but all we've heard all day today is, my goodness, uh, his, his name is Brother Randall. If you look just so different. There's just such a difference about you. you. You just seem to be at such peace. And he just talked about it the rest of the night, about how much of a good time that he had, that he felt the presence of God. And amen. Uh, it, it just blessed my heart. Amen. Because the... You never know where God is going to send you just to reach one person. Amen. And this was the place. And and not only was I able to reach him, but others. But then God just messed him and I up both. We were sitting uh, down by the um, courtyard and uh, another one of the residents rolled up um, in his wheelchair. We were sitting there just chatting and he turned around and he looked at me, and this was about two hours after we had come in from church. And he turned around and he looked at me, and um, we had never really had a conversation or anything, and he said, pray for me. And I said, okay. And I began to pray for him, and the tears just began to come down his face. And he's got something going on with his leg. And when he pulled up, you could see the pain in his face. And I'd pray for him. And then I kind of turned around and God said, go back and lay hands on his leg. So I turned around and I went back and I laid hands on his leg. And then afterwards, he began just to lift up his hands right there in the hallway. And he just began to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And he said, my foot feels good. My foot feels good. I don't feel no pain. And we just began, I mean, the, the staff were kind of looking at us funny and whatever and wondering what was going on, what was all the noise. And man, we just said, we just have a church here. And God had given me what I was going to speak on tonight some time ago. And, and 
um, thinking about it tonight, I now understand why he gave it to me. And my topic tonight was nevertheless. Hmm. Nevertheless. You know, never underestimate the power of this simple word. Nevertheless is your bridge to the supernatural. Nevertheless puts the power back in God's hands. Nevertheless activates heaven on your behalf and paralyzes hell. Let us go to his word. We're going to be reading from Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 9. And I just do ask that you just please deal with me with my voice. Amen. And just intercede and pray for me. Amen. Because God is going to have his way. And actually, I would ask, actually, uh, Apostle, could you read for me? Amen. Um, Luke uh, 5, verses 1 through 9. Absolutely. Amen. Um, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And the word of the Lord reads, So it was, as the multitude passed about him to hear the word of God, that he stood by the lake of Garnasaret, and saw two boats standing by the lake. But the fishermen had gone from them and was washing their net. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the multitudes from the boat. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Lunch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the nets. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish. And their net was breaking. So they signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me. For I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him was astonished at the catch of fish which had which they had taken. Amen. We bless God um, for his word and for the edification of our souls. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I just want to back up. Amen. And let's pay attention to verse 5. And as she read, it said, And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Well, let me tell you something, saints. Help. Because I got a net breaking boat sinking blessing. I got too much blessing that is just too much for me. And if you would have been on the shore that day, that's what you would have heard Peter yelling to his partners on the shore. But that shouldn't surprise us at all. Isn't that what the Bible says? Press down, shaken together, running over shall men give unto your bosoms. You know, many of the things that we buy today have words that are written on them that say the contents of what's inside. And many of them settle during shipping. 
And sure enough, when we open up, for example, that bag of chips, it looks like somebody stole a third of the chips. Amen? But I want you to know that God has a blessing with your name on it. And the contents haven't settled. As a matter of fact, not have only the continents not settled, but the contents are overflowing tonight. That means that it wouldn't all fit in the box. It wouldn't all fit in the potato chip bag because it's just too much blessing. Amen. Most of us have had a hard time. Most of the time believing just for enough blessing, just enough to pay the rent, just enough to put gas in the car, just enough to pay for a few groceries, just enough to keep the lights on. Friends, I'm a member of ministry, please. Thank you. I'm sorry, you're off. Just enough to keep the lights on. Friends, that's a wilderness mentality. That's called the wilderness of just enough. When God brought Israel out of Egypt, he took them through a wilderness of just enough. But it wasn't only supposed to be a hallway. But I'm I'm sorry, y'all just pray because mm, thank you, Jesus. We give you glory, God. We give you glory. We speak against disturbances, God. We speak against disturbances, God. He took them through the wilderness of just enough. But it was only supposed to be a hallway to the land of overflow, the land that flowed with milk and honey. We see this in God's word. Just enough is definitely better than never enough. But it's not the promised land, saints of God. God wants to take you to the promised land. The Lord told me to tell somebody tonight that he has a blessing with your name on it. It's in the post office, and it's been dispatched from heaven, and it's waiting for you to put your claim on it. We've prayed, and we have confessed the word. You've worked your faith, and you have stood on the word. But if you're honest with yourself, and if I'm honest with myself, Many of us are in the same place Peter was that day. Come on now, somebody say amen. amen. You've been disappointed. Somebody I'm talking to today has been in a disappointing season. Your faith has been disappointed over and over and over and over and over. And you've thrown, thrown your net out over and over again. And it seems like it has been for nothing. And it feels like that all that prayer and all that believing and all that confessing was just a waste of time. But the Lord says to prophesy to you, your disappointing season shall come to an end. Because the word says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. You know, when you order something that they give you a delivery date, that it's your appointment to receive what you have ordered. You, you have a certain time, amen. The Lord says, that this is your divine appointment. But you say, I've been to the post office six times already. Uh, I've wasted gas just going back and forth, uh, and there is no sign of my package, Lord. Uh, no evidence of rain anywhere. Go again. 
Elijah said. The Holy Spirit is telling you, go again, my son, my daughter. Be persistent in faith. Don't give up. Uh, hallelujah. And then a servant comes back and says, this time I saw a little cloud the size of a man's hand. Elijah said, I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. I prophesy to you, your drought shall never be overtaken by an abundance of rain. The Lord said, prophesy a new season, a new anointing. So I prophesy today a new season and a new anointing, an anointing for breakthrough and release and supernatural abundance. There is an anointing for every season in your life. There is an anointing for the high places. There is an anointing to sustain you through the drought. There is an anointing for the long nights of fruitless labor, my God. Hallelujah. Mm, Thank you, Jesus. There's an anointing Hallelujah, for breakthrough and release and supernatural abundance. Uh, I dare somebody to lift your hands and ask God to shift you into the anointing for abundance and breakthrough and supernatural release. Uh, Let me share with you, hallelujah. Uh, It's been uh, never uh, the less time for me these past three to four weeks, uh, because nevertheless, uh, I did not want to be here. Nevertheless, uh, God said, yes, my son, you have to be here. Nevertheless, uh, I've had some pain. Uh, Nevertheless, uh, I've had some sleepless night. Uh, Nevertheless, uh, I've had to leave my wife uh, to tend to herself. Hallelujah. And some of y'all know, uh, hallelujah, that she's lost her sight. Hallelujah. That she's had a stroke. Hallelujah. And that she's just recently got her kidney. Uh, But nevertheless, uh, I had to cast my net uh, and know that I was going to come back with a catch. uh, And that catch uh, was supernatural abundance uh, to go through what I have to go through, hallelujah, so that I can be a witness, uh, so that I can be a living testimony, hallelujah. Uh, See, Jesus was trying to shift Peter into a new anointing, uh, hallelujah, and that is what he was doing. Now, I'm paraphrasing here. Uh, Peter said, Lord, it's been for nothing. We've worked so hard for nothing. We've worked so hard just for empty nets. We've prayed and we've fasted and we've confessed your word for nothing. It's all been for nothing. Friends, let me give you a revelation. Hallelujah. Nothing is great preparation for too much. Somebody get that. Nothing is great preparation for too much. <laughs> Glory to God. God will usually always take you through a season of nothing just before the breakthrough into too much. Does somebody hear that? <laughs> God will usually always take you through a season of nothing just before the breakthrough into much. Why? Because what God wants all the glory. He wants you to know and everyone else that it is not the strength of your flesh. Mm. Why? Because you are not the Savior. There's a lot of us running around and acting like we're the Savior. Mm-hmm. You are not the healer. There's a lot of us running around saying, oh, I can lay hands on you and you'll be healed. But my Bible says that we lay hands on in the name of Jesus, not in the name of Apostle Durante, not in the name of uh, Apostle Greenleaf, not in the name of Prophet Boo Boo. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. You are not here 
uh, uh, to be the deliverer. For the Bible says that Christ is the deliverer. You are not the miracle worker, but God is the miracle worker. My God, he wants you to know, hallelujah, that it's the anointing that produces the miracle. It is not by my might nor by my power, but it's by the Spirit of the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. Somebody pray for me. Glory to God. I'm just about done here. We give God glory on tonight. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. And he wants you to learn his voice. Thanks of God. The first key to shifting into the anointing of abundance is hearing his voice. The second key is obeying him. Do you know how much obedience it has taken for me to stay in this place? You ask Lady Keisha. You ask my sister that's on the line, I believe. Evangelist Don. You ask my brother. Hallelujah. The first night that I came in here, I was ready to go out the door. Hallelujah. But nevertheless, I'm yet still here. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. God will let us wear ourselves out doing what we know how to do. So we'll be ready to hear his voice. You see, when you still got strength, we've still got options. We think we can work it out ourselves, and we don't hear his voice. It's not that he's not speaking. It's just that we're too busy making too much noise to hear him. So he waits for us. So he waits for us to wait for him to be led by the Spirit. To be led by the Spirit means that he's in front. So he waits for us to fall back in line and start waiting on him. And then he speaks ridiculous instructions. If you want to shift into ridiculous blessings, you have to be willing to obey ridiculous instructions. It was ridiculous instructions for the prophet to tell a broke and busted and disgusted widow to go and borrow empty vessels, not a few, and then take her little pot of oil and start pouring into all of those empty vessels. But she obeyed the ridiculous instruction. An anointing of ridiculous blessings came on her, and she went into supernatural overflow. I feel a ridiculous anointing getting ready to fall on someone right now. Come on, our saints of God. If you want that ridiculous anointing to fall on you, Lift your hands and ask God to send it to you. Most of us don't have any problems seeing ourselves with just enough daily making it, just mm-hmm. keeping our heads about water. I know. I've been there. For years, my wife and I, we fought just to keep our heads above water. We were faithful the tithing and never missed services as much as that we could. But we hadn't gotten the vision of abundance. Come on now, somebody. We couldn't see ourselves blessed with any more than just enough to pay our bills. We couldn't see just enough to put food on our table. We couldn't see just enough to get from month to month. Then God connected us to a ministry that had more than enough anointing on it. And through the teaching and preaching and the example and the actions, we got a vision of ourselves living in abundance. 
You have to see yourself in abundance. How do you see yourself? You may have empty boats, empty nets, empty cupboards, empty pockets, but you have to see something that isn't there. God told Abraham, lift up your eyes and look from the place where you are. Look east, west, north, south, and everything you can see, I'll give it to you. God was saying, if you can see it, you can have it. And God has shown many of us that are listening tonight some things. But are you hearing what God is saying? Are you hearing him say, look east, west, north, south, and everything you can see, I'll give it to you. When the prophet told that woman, to get all those empty vessels, he was activating her supernatural sight, her faith vision. I ask you, where's your faith vision? If he wanted her to see by faith, every one of those vessels filled. I'm sorry, he wanted her to see. And when she obeyed that ridiculous instruction, and begin to pour what little bit of oil she had into those vessels. She made that little pot of oil her miracle seed. It didn't make sense. It wasn't nothing compared to the size of her need. It could not get her out of debt, but she poured it out. She sold it. She released what she had in order to get what she needed. And some of us don't even want to release what we have. And until we begin to release what we have, we'll never get what we need. But see, in her obedience to a ridiculous instruction, it took her into overflow and put in the and put her in the oil business. Peter's seed was his boat. Jesus used his boat as a pulpit. Glory to God. He used it as a pulpit. Jesus told Peter to launch out into the deep, the, the deep for a drought. He was giving Peter a vision of abundance. Jesus didn't say try one more time and see if you might catch something. He said, Let down your nets for a net-breaking, boat-sinking blessing. Somebody needs to let down your net so that you can receive your break, boat-sinking blessing. My God. God is good, saints. God is good all the time. And we got to get that nevertheless attitude. We got to know that nevertheless, the Bible tells us that God will never forsake us nor leave us. That he's always going to be with us. Nevertheless, his word shall not fail. Nevertheless, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Nevertheless, all things work together for the good to them who love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. God is for us, and it doesn't matter who's against us. Nevertheless, somebody shout, nevertheless. Uh, Nevertheless, When that word is spoken in faith, it notifies heaven that you're ready to do whatever the Holy Spirit instructs you to do, no matter where you're at, whether it be that you're in a hospital, whether it be you're in a nursing home, whether it be you're in Walmart. Secondly, 
it cripples hell. Why? Because when you declare that word in faith, you have just notified hell that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are. It doesn't matter how much money you have or if you don't have. It doesn't matter how educated or uneducated you are. It doesn't matter what the devil does, and it doesn't matter what hell throws at you. It doesn't matter if sickness, if it is sickness or disease. It doesn't matter if it's a financial problem. It doesn't matter that the devil attacks your family. It doesn't matter if it's a lion's den or a fiery furnace. It's already settled, and I'm committed. Nothing's going to change my mind. I've got a nevertheless on the inside of me. Nevertheless, that word is prophetic because that word declares it is done before I even start. In other words, when you declare that word from your heart, you are releasing faith. Your faith is testifying. Your faith is crippling hell. We all remember Jesus' word on the cross. It is finished. But prophetically, it was finished in the garden when Jesus prayed, Father, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. With that one word from Jesus' lips, hell was defeated. Your victory and my victory was won. Somebody needs to open up your mouth and prophesy. Nevertheless, put heaven on notice. Put heaven on notice. That you're ready for your breakthrough. Cripple hell. Let the devil know that it doesn't matter. It's already decided. Come hell or high water. Come sickness or health. Come joy or pain. Come drought or rain. Come lion's den or fiery furnace. Nevertheless, Come on and grab your neighbor's hand and prophesy to them. Nevertheless, when you prophesy, you are putting pressure on your blessings. And you are making it come forth. You're agitating your blessing. Nevertheless means I refuse to be dominated by what my eyes see. And I'm going to cast my nets into nothing because I'm believing for too much. This is my nevertheless praise. Now, I want to pathetically praise him like everything you've been believing God for just to happen. Like it's just manifested. That's what I want you to do. That's what nevertheless means. It means I don't see it in the natural, but I'm going to praise him just like it's already done. Just like it's here right now. Nevertheless of what I see. Nevertheless of what I might think. Somebody needs to put hell on notice that you're not quitting. You're not giving up. And you're not turning the switch off. You got one more cast in you. Praise him like your prodigals just came home. Your healing just manifested. Your debt was just supernaturally canceled. Your marriage is restored. Mm -hmm. Your addiction is broken. Nevertheless. Apostle, it's back in your hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to God. Anyone out there got a nevertheless?
yes, praise on the inside of them, wherever you may be around the world, throughout the nations, in the majestic name of Jesus. Nevertheless, in spite of what it is that you are going through, in spite of, amen, of, of, of situations and circumstances that look like it just might be dried up, but my God, in the majestic name of Jesus, uh, nevertheless, amen, glory to God, my God, I, I believe he was just saying it like this, go ahead and put a praise on that situation, go ahead and put a praise on that circumstance, go ahead and put a praise on that condition, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, just saying, nevertheless, uh, because I believe what it is that God has spoken about my very life, uh, even though the condition and circumstances may be contrary to what it is uh, that I'm believing God for. If I'm not going to allow what I see to hinder what it is uh, that I believe because, amen, faith is the substance uh, of things hoped for and the evidence uh, of things not seen. Uh, oh, my God, you got to go ahead and imagine yourself uh, right there, amen, as God has spoken. You got to go ahead and imagine, uh, uh, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, uh, the very word of God for your life. You got to see that. You got to see yourself already there in that place in spite of the circumstance in spite of the situation are you perceiving can you believe what it is that God has spoken for your life amen in the name of Jesus nevertheless in the drought glory to God thank you Jesus I know that my abundance is coming hallelujah thank you Jesus because he has said my God, my God, that he will break forth a streams of rivers in the desert. My God, in the name of Jesus, glory, 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 glory to God. My God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, can you, amen. We bless God for our mind shifting on tonight in the church. Uh, we're going to get ready, amen, glory to God. We're going to answer the line for questions, comments, and prayer requests in a moment. But we're going to take a, a, a break in the church. We're going to be right back. We're going to open up the lines for questions. In addition, we're going to just dive in some conversation, amen, myself and the apostle, amen, glory to God, about this rich word that he just released on tonight out of the book of Luke chapter 5, verse 1 through 9, amen, nevertheless, amen, he just gave and broke out some keys, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, how to get into the supernatural, amen, he gave you, he said, look, you're going to, I'm going to release unto you the bridge to bring you into the supernatural things of God, but also paralyzed, hallelujah, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, uh, of the gates of hell, paralyze your enemies, uh, my God, my God, is there nevertheless praise, uh, hallelujah, in your belly that will begin to cause your strongholds to fall, uh, that will begin to cause those Jericho walls uh, to begin to move out of your way, uh, I'm even reminded about King Hezekiah, you know, hallelujah, as they was getting ready to go off to war, as the kings had 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 it all Sabbath, as the kings had gathered together to come up against him to attack him, right? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. He sent Judah up first. Uh, Judah, then what? That was the praisers. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. They was the praisers. And he sent them up first. Uh, oh, my God. In the name of Jesus. Uh, and what the praise began to do, uh, it caused their enemies, to, as they praised God, God began to send their enemies in a state of confusion and in that state of confusion the enemies began to turn on themselves and so when they got amen up there of glory to God to the battle to the battle line to where the battle was amen on oh my God their enemies amen had wiped out themselves glory 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 to God see if you would just get a praise if you would just get that word nevertheless in your belly nevertheless in your soul nevertheless in your mind uh, nevertheless in your heart uh, my god and go ahead and praise god anyway praise him in advance uh, and you will begin to see mountains will begin to move uh, you nevertheless will cause giants to be slayed uh, my god in the name of jesus my god you're nevertheless you're nevertheless hallelujah will begin to see the power of god to move uh, in your life in the majestic name of jesus glory 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 be unto god in this place in the name of jesus 
glory to God. You got to believe him. He told you that his word will not come back unto you void. Glory to God. We're going to take a break in the church on tonight. Go ahead and send this broadcast. Give the, Send out this broadcast to those that you know on your so- social media platform. Um, glory to God. You can send them the, the um, radio app as well. Hallelujah. Um, thank you, Jesus. Um, glory to God. Hallelujah. You can send them um, the, the website at www.inthechurch.com. Um, glory to God. So they can get in on this conversation because it's not over yet. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory be unto God. Hallelujah. We'll be right back in Jesus name. <laughs>
Thank you, Jesus. My God, glory, 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 glory be unto God in this place. We was just listening to um, Sharon Moore. Um, won't return void. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Do you believe that the word of God, that God word will not return back void in your life? Amen. It will not turn void in your life. Amen. Glory to God. It will not return void back unto him. Amen. In the name of Jesus, surely, surely as he spoke it, it shall come, amen, into being. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, as we move by faith, as we move by faith and not by sight in the majestic name of Jesus. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the In the Church TV and Radio Broadcast. Yes, I am your host, Apostle Deron Shade Zorn. And in the studio with us, we have none other than the Apostle uh, Paul Greenleaf, my God, who have just brought us a powerful, powerful, powerful anointed word from the Lord, my God, speaking on never, uh-huh, uh-huh, nevertheless, hallelujah, he is from the Enriching Words of Life Ministries, and we thank God for our brother on tonight, hallelujah, who is just very dear, dear, dear to my very heart, uh, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, and so I bless God for him and the anointing. So we're going to get ready on tonight, dynamic people of God. We're going to open up um, the lines. Now, for those who are, um, let me back up for one second. I do want to thank everyone who has shared this broadcast. Amen. I want to thank you for sharing this broadcast. I do want to thank you um, on the seven continents of the world. We want to thank you, Africa, Europe, South America. We want to thank you for being in the church on tonight with us. Glory to God. Australia, bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We want to thank those who have just shared this broadcast, who have entered in in the church with us on tonight from the four corners of the earth. Now, if, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, you want to dive in on this conversation, you have any questions comments or prayer requests amen for those who can you can dial in at 563-999-1824 amen to join us in this conversation um, for those who are by um, have access to uh, the internet you can go to the internet join in and, and be a chat to that uh, what's up thank you just if you're on facebook platform social media platform um, you can um comment right in um the the broadcast, right in on the broadcast. That's right on the social media platform. I'm um, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, with your prayer requests, your questions, or your comments that you may have in the name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory be unto God. Now, if you are, um, amen, if you have logged in, if you have called in via the telephone and you want to, you have a question, comment, or prayer request, all you have to do for me is hit star six. If you hit star six, I'm going to bring you over, um, amen, hallelujah, into the broadcast. I'm going to bring you over live on the radio with us on tonight um, so that you can come forth with your question, your prayer request, or your comment. Again, just hit star six, and it will put you in the queue, amen, in the order in which you have received, and we will just call you forth in the church, amen, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God, apostle, 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 apostle. Paul Green Leaf from Enriching Words of Life Ministries. Amen. We bless God for you and the anointing that is on your life for bringing such a powerful message forth um, with us on tonight. I'm dynamic man um, of God, nevertheless. Hallelujah. Um, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Um, Glory to God. We bless God. We bless God for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Again, those that are, um, amen, on on the call, those that have called into the studio, if you match star six, star six, amen, it will put you in the queue. And then I can bring you on in so that you can ask your questions, 
um, any comments or give you a prayer request that you may have. Amen. Um, in the name of Jesus, glory, glory, glory to God. So in the meantime, Apostle, let's start here and then we'll just flow. Um, amen. And then from time to time, I'll ask them if they want to come over into the queue. Amen. And give that question, comments or um, their uh, prayer requests on tonight. But let's start here. First of all, let's um, let's give the people in the church on tonight access information on how that they can reach out to you and contact you amen in the name of jesus amen amen um they can reach us on um facebook amen um uh, you have two ways to reach us amen you can reach us um just by typing in enriching words of life amen and you can find us on facebook twitter and um um, Google Plus, amen, with enriching, amen, words of life, amen. Um, Lady Keisha, can you come on and just uh, spell that out for them for me? Excuse me, it's E N R I C H I N G W O R D S O F as in Paul L I F E. Amen, amen, and that's enriching words of life, amen, and you can um, please like us on Facebook, amen. Also, another part of our uh, ministry, amen, uh, you can also uh, just type in sensational, amen, that's S-E-N-S-A-T-I-O-N-A-L, sound, amen, S-O-U-N-D-S, radio, amen, I um, mean, this is where we play the sounds of um, music that are smooth for your soul, your mind, and your spirit. Amen. We are on 24-7. Amen. And we work exclusively with uh, emerging artists. Uh, we have programming over there. Amen. Uh, just come on over and tune in anytime. Uh, connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. Plus. We're also on Spreaker, amen, under Sensational Sound Radio, amen. Uh, sign our guest book, amen. I believe there was a notification uh, put out that there's a special link right now uh, because we are about to launch our new website, amen, Um my co-owner and um, our uh, other department manager have been manning the radio station for me and my time of rest, amen. That's what I'm going to call it, that time of rest, amen. So um, just pay uh, notice to um, the Sensational Sounds radio pages. Uh, you can also, amen, connect uh with my apostle, amen, Apostle Durante, and she can connect you uh, to us also. I don't have very much uh, media access where I'm at. I'm doing the best that I can, amen. Um, but we just truly give God our glory and honor. Uh, we will be starting back up very soon uh, with our ministry, amen, uh, which is a um, teleconference. Uh, sort of uh, church service, uh, which is our Enriching Words uh, International, and that, I'm sorry, Enriching Words of Life International Fellowship. Uh, but God is revamping and rebuilding it. Amen. Uh, so do look forward to that. And then also live to the point. Amen. Uh, with my lovely wife. Amen. We'll be coming back with that. We have so many exciting, exciting things coming forth. Amen. Uh, also, amen, look for our book. Amen. Our book is coming soon. Uh, we hope to have it out and published, amen, by 2019. And then, so keep your eyes out for that. And then the title is Godly Hookups. Amen. Yeah. Godly Hookups for those of you that are preparing to get married or I'm married, amen, or uh, having struggles in your marriage, 
Amen. This is a book that is going to bless your marriage. Amen. Bless as you're preparing yourself to be married. Amen. To know that it is a godly hookup. Amen. Godly hookup. Listen to the title. Godly hookup. A lot of times we hook up ourselves. Amen. And then we get sunk. Oh, let me not even go there because that's a whole nother that's a whole nother message, Apostle. <laughs> Amen. Uh, but um we just bless the Lord. Amen. Again, um, woman of God, we're just so honored to be here. Amen. Um, and as we're waiting for people to come, I, I just want to share this. Amen. If, if <laughs> something that God has showed me in this word, amen, nevertheless, if you are going to say that you are going to do a work for God, you have got to have a nevertheless call on your life. Amen. Because God will put you in situations where it's going to have to be nevertheless. I'm still going to serve God. Nevertheless, I, I, I'm not going to give up. You know, I, I can't go into details as, as to what uh, I've been going through here. Amen. But it's been quite painful. Amen. And, and I've had to say, you know what? Nevertheless, uh, my wife here is here on the call and she'll tell you, um, I'd be on the phone telling, I, I want to come home. I, I'm ready to come home. Come, come get me. Come get me out of this place. And she's like, no, you got to stay. You, you got to get better. Um, people uh, that are close to us have come by and just said, no, you got to stay. It, it's just something here that God wants you to do. And I just thank God that I began to get that nevertheless mentality because if I didn't, um, the things that have happened would not have happened. And sometimes in life, we really just got to stop and think about that. If we don't get that nevertheless mind, you know, and, and what really nevertheless is, is don't don't think about all that outside stuff that, that rent is due, that water bill is due. I, I, I don't have no food on my table. Oh, my God, my, my children are acting up, you know, and, and, and the enemy just seems to be just throwing all kind of things at you. But you got to say, nevertheless, yet I'm going to still, still serve God with all that I have. Nevertheless, you know. And, and and God has really, uh, Apostle Durante is a witness to it. God has really been dealing with me with nevertheless, even, even ministry-wise. You know, uh, sometimes we just want to give up. Uh, things aren't going our way. We're, we're not satisfied with the number. We're not satisfied with this. We're not satisfied with that. We don't think that anybody's listening. But God is trying to get us in a nevertheless mode so that he can really show us what is in store for us when we get that mindset that we're going to serve God nevertheless, no matter what. The songwriter says, praise is what I do in the good and the bad. Well, I'm going to change it up. Nevertheless is what I do in the good and the bad. <laughs> Amen, Apostle. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. For those that have joined us via, um, have called into the line of the studio. Amen. What you can do, you can just hit star six and it'll cue you in. And I, um, for any questions, comments, or prayer requests, even if you just want to bless the man of God for the powerful word that he sent forth on tonight, um, glory to God, just hit star six and it's going to bring you, cue you up. And I will, and I will, um, I'll bring you over live um, and live on the radio with us so that you can give your question, your comment, or your prayer request. Amen. Um, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And so, um, amen. And so I, I'm, I'm watching for the cue. But in the meantime, um, I'm an apostle. We're just going to walk, you know, just look at this word. Amen. Glory to God. God just have given it to him. Um so so just so mightily um apostle i just want to bring out something else that was here amen um in the text as you as you dealt with um nevertheless um coming out of luke chapter 5 verses 1 through 4 um amen 
Um, I, I just absolutely um, love it. And I'm on just verse four. Um, glory to God. He told um, Simon, look, Simon, I, I want you to lunch out into the deep mm-hmm. and let down your nets for a catch. Amen. And so, um, and, and I just believe that there's some people out there and you're just saying, you know what? Um, hey man, you know, um, you, you may have that, you may have Simon's, um, mentality where you say, you know what? I've been fishing. We've been fishing all day and night, all week, mm-hmm. all year. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. But how about what you've been fishing at? It may just not be the designated location. Amen. Glory to God. You know, you are you fishing at just maybe the drought may be there. Amen. It's not that you dry, but eh, hmm, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. But that place is dried up. That's not the place where he need for you to be. Um, That's not the place where oh he God. has set the catch. Amen. That's not the place where he have set the people that's waiting for you, the things that are waiting for you. He said, look, you got to lunch out. I need for you to move your destination. I need for you to move from the destination and which you are in right now to a new location. Mm. And and not only that, I, Apostle, I, I, mm, when you when you just said that, the Lord just dropped something in my spirit. You You were talking about the location. But 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 let let's look at this for a moment. A lot of times when we go, okay, uh, uh, he went fishing, okay, and and he had his cronies with him. Amen. If I can kind of speak in our language, you know, and and a lot of times we'll we'll plan a fishing trip, and, and we bring certain people with us, okay. But let's put it in the context of who we're who we got in our arena and who we're fishing with, and who we're casting our nets with, maybe that's not who's supposed to be on the boat with us. Maybe that's who's not supposed to be casting the net with us, and that's why we're not catching anything, because God has told us to cut those particular people off. Mm. Not just the area, but Mm -hmm. who's with Mm -hmm. us casting the net. Mm -hmm. Because, see, you know, we can't. Sometimes we can't cast the net ourselves because when we think about it, a net uh, is is heavy. It's it's heavy um, uh, rope, you know, and and, and when they cast it, it takes, you know, quite a few of them to cast it, okay? Uh, and, And God strategically places people in our lives, but are we stopping and thinking about, wait a minute, who's casting this net with us? Uh, even when it comes down to, amen, uh, the person that you may be thinking about going into ministry with or, or the person that you're about to marry, uh, she could be casting the net one way and you could be casting the net the other way. And that's why you all ain't catching nothing. My God. Mm. You said something because, amen, he had to come into a place of agreement. Mm. Um, Simon had to come into a place of agreement. So how can two walk together unless they agree? And so before right, he was right. able to even get in the position um, to catch, amen, um, to, to, to catch the, the, the great multitude uh, of fish that it was so much that it was such an overflow that he had to call in some buddies to come and help. He had to first come into that place of agreement. Hmm. And so, you know, mm. even as he told him, look, lunge out and in, into in, in, in the deep. And, you know, when he began to say, well, we tall, we taught, And, you know, he had that, that, that um, reluctant there. But that reluctance still brought him to a place of submission, a place of submission. And mm-hmm. when he gave that word, nevertheless, it came, he gave the word mm. of agreement. And he said, nevertheless, yes, at your word, at your word. Oh, somebody needs to grab, grab that. Nevertheless, at your word, he's talking to Jesus. So, word. Nevertheless, at the word of God, the God, the word in which you have spoken, I will let down my net. Amen. Glory to God. I think it's over in the book of, is it over in the book of Isaiah, right? Um, yes, ma'am. Isaiah 55, when he said, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. Amen. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours and my thoughts than your thoughts. Amen. I'm um, going to God. And so, you know, um, even in, um, you know, um, Simon's mindset, 
you know, that first mindset that we've been doing this all night. And in this mindset, we've been out here all night. It ain't no fish came, you know, and we ain't caught nothing. We ain't caught absolutely nothing. Yet, look, um, uh, amen. So that was in his own thought and his own mindset. But he had to bring his thoughts up to the thought. Amen. Up to the very thought that Christ was given unto him. And so, amen, glory to God. And so even when we're in situations and circumstances and it just don't look like um, what it is that God is speaking to us, it doesn't look like it it, it is going to, the word is going to manifest, you know, in our lives because of, you know, the scenery, because it looks so contradictory to what it is that mm. God is speaking in our lives. We got to have that. Nevertheless, we got to bring our thoughts. Our thoughts got to come up to the thought of God that God is thinking toward us and in the ways in which he is thinking amen glory to God thank you Jesus hallelujah because amen it, it, it wasn't right there but he said look if you just go out just a little bit and God is causing some people to stretch in this season. stretch yes yes I, I, I'm on. I, no, no, I, I'm, I'm on stretch you in this hour so I need you to lunge out into the deep See, amen, what was familiar, see, they, of Simon them, they was fishing in what was familiar to them, where they used to always go and catch the fish. He said, no, I, I, I want to stretch mm. you just a little bit more. Mm-hmm. So your normal patterns, it ain't, it ain't, it, amen, glory to God, um, it ain't working no more. See, they don't got used to your route. And oh, my God, it. oh, my God. He said, um, don't got used to your route. I'm just hearing the Lord say, yeah, you know, the enemy don't got used to your routine. And so he don't learn how to cut things mm-hmm. off uh, before they mm-hmm. get to you. So now you got to do the switch up. You got you to gotta change the route. You, you got to change where it is that you go. Amen. Great God. Because see, he's, he's familiar with uh, uh, what, your, what, what your norm is. So now he don't cut it off. So if you're going to get back into the flow to get into the flow mm. amen you gotta change amen you gotta change up something you gotta switch up something amen i'm glory to god thank you jesus that is undetected by the average so he's telling me go go on into the deep I, I know you used to catching fish right here simon i know you used to going in the flow right here simon but i'm gonna need you to go out just a little bit more amen i'm gonna enlarge your territory on today and what i love about it glory to god see when they was fishing before even in the place where they were used to they never caught so much where they had to ask somebody to come and help them. Where well, they got two boatloads mm. full. So he sent them out just a little bit further. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you. He said, look, I need you to come out of your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Thank mm. you, Jesus. I need you to come out of your comfort zone. And, and as you stretch and you believe and you come out of your comfort zone, I'm I'm, I'm going to give you more than enough. Are you going to go into an overflow? See, what you used to having and what you used to getting in that place that you was comfortable at, that don't dry it up right now. If you go on over and stretch just a little bit further, I'm going to double that for you. I'm going to give you even the more. I'm going to overflow you in such a way that you ain't even going to have enough room to receive what it is that's, that you're getting ready to be blessed with that you're going to even be, be able to bless other people amen well, in the name of jesus come on now. God. And, uh, glory to god you know you guys uh, hallelujah thank you jesus y'all need to come on in on the conversation y'all can just hit star six star six go ahead and hit star six and and dive in amen um glory to god ask your questions your comments or your prayer requests you hit star six is going to bring you over into the queue amen and i will bring you on in um, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Into the um, live into the conversation in the name of Jesus. Apostle, um, glory to God. You got anything to say? Because you know, amen. Um, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We'll amen, get in this amen. word and we'll preach it. All day. Oh, okay. Come on now. Come out now. Amen. <laughs> amen. Um, uh, Lady Keisha, amen. Uh, come on in here and, and, and chime in with us, amen, woman of God. Because I know God done dropped some nuggets in you. I hope she's still here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. She might have had to step away for a second. Amen. Amen. We just bless the name of the true living God because, you know, um, Apostle, this this word is just absolutely um, amazing. Amen. I'm glory to God. And, and God just want to take us some places. I love it because you said, look, you got to be able to hear his voice. Mm-hmm. And you got to be able you know, to hear. And, and it... Go ahead, Apostle. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you go uh, ahead. I just, I just, 
I just keep thinking about the situation that I'm in. Mm-hmm. You know, like as I said at the beginning of the the broadcast, I I, I could have called you and said, well, uh, woman, God, I, I I'm not going to be able to do this because you know I, I'm I'm in the rehab, I'm I'm in the hospital, you know. But I got a nevertheless spirit, and I said, you know what? No, I'm going to do it nevertheless. I'm going to do it regardless because this is what God has called me to do. You know, I wish I could take a picture so that people could see that I, I, I'm sitting up in my hospital bed, and then with, with, with the the things going on and everything. You know, even though my door is is closed, and you know, we even had an interruption. Amen. But that's a nevertheless attitude, and that is what God really wants for His Amen. people. You know. I, I did a quick breathing treatment before I got on the call, amen, and and um, I, I, I would not be the person that you know that I am and say that it has been easy to be here. You know, I, I've been able to go home twice. You know, uh, on Father's Day, I was able to spend some time uh, with my wife and, and, and go out, amen, but I had to come back, you know, and it was not easy. You know, and like I said, I, I can't get into every detail because, you know, sometimes we just can't do that because of some of the conditions that I'm going through. Amen. Um, but, um, you know, um, let, let's just say uh, I'm just, amen, uh, starting to be able to walk um, what, what they call, uh, are you back on the line, baby? Amen. What, what's that thing they call that I'm walking with now? A roll later. A roll later. Uh, I was so sick that uh, when I got here, I, I was not able to walk. And, and I had to get the strength back because I had coughed so much that they said that um, I, I either sprained or broke or fractured my ribs. And in the process uh, of of, of that something else happened, amen, uh, that the enemy decided to attack another part of my body um, concerning my prostate, amen. Um, so by the time that uh, I got to the rehab, uh, to do the rehab just to be able to strengthen uh, where my uh, weakness was with the coughing, there was an, a, another issue that popped up. So I, I could have come up with all kind of excuses. And and I'll even share, um, I've been on, um, you know, uh, Apostle Duranche's prayer call at, at, at 5.30 in the morning. Amen. I have texted her uh, when I couldn't get in because my phone started acting funky. So I, I've just been having that nevertheless spirit. And, and I, I, the reason I'm saying this, don't let God get you to the point that he's got to put you in the hospital for you to get that nevertheless. And this, and this, is, and, and this is what this word is about. Don't let God get you in the position when you know that you're called. Because, see, the word says many are called, but few are chosen. And sometimes us called and chosen one can be the most stubbornest children of them all. And because of that, God is going to put us into situations that are going to push us back into what he has called us to do. And, And what I'm saying to you, people of God, Get the nevertheless attitude before you get to that, to, to where I have come to and mm-hmm. into that somewhat disobedience when when you're not doing everything that you know that you're supposed to be doing, that if God has given you an assignment and you're not being totally uh, dedicated, you, you hear where I'm coming from, Apostle, correct? Amen. Amen. Yes, amen. amen. I, I don't have to be transparent about everything, but amen. I, I hope that y'all are, are getting what I'm trying to say, amen. Uh, we always don't have to get about all of our business, amen. But uh, 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 what I'm hearing God saying is there's some of you out there that God has given you an assignment and you've kind of uh, not been partaking in 
it 100 percent you're you're only putting in maybe 30 percent and and these last and evil days if if we say we we're an apostle if we say we're a prophet if we say that we're a minister if we say that we're a pastor we have got to put our 100 percent in it because see when we when we give our lives to god it's just like a marriage till death do us part and when you're in a marriage, you've got to have 50-50. Amen. But see, in my wife and I's marriage, we don't have 50-50. We have 100 and 100. Amen. Because we are one. And this is what we have got to become to be as one with God. We trying to be one by ourselves and one running the show. Let go and let God run the show. Let me shut up here. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. No, you're good. You're running real good. Also, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Again, if you are on the line, you can hear our six of me. Um, which is God. Thank you, Jesus. Many people put down and turn away, um, give up in the things that God's called forth in their life because they, they come into, you know, some situations and circumstances or, you know, it's not going the way they desire for it to go, you know, or, or what have you. And so they give up, they give in, they throw in the towel. Amen. Um, when, when the when the warfare comes or uh, when the storm comes, but that is the time that you have to stick in. Um, if you ain't sticking in and there, uh, amen. That's the time where you got to stand strong and you got to be strong and courageous because things are going to come up and show up. Because what happens, amen, when we come against mm-hmm. adversity or adversity come against us and we begin to put down the things of God and we become disobedient unto God, then that means we have consequences, amen, that we have to deal with. For not being faithful, Hallelujah! Um, thank you, Jesus. Now, even as the uh, the apostle was talking, about, he was talking about nevertheless, Amen. And we're talking about that, uh, Amen. And he told him, um, Glory to God, you nevertheless, Amen. Because of your word, because of your word, and, and I mean, nevertheless, at your word, and, and what that is, I'm going to act upon your word, right? Uh, glory to God, mm-hmm. thank you. So you're nevertheless got to be followed with some action with some action that I'm mm. going to do the word and which it is that you have spoken. I'm not my, not my way, not my will, but it's going to be your will that is going to be done in, in my life. So I'm going to, I'm going to move according to the love that you have ordered for me. Because when we don't have another less attitude, then we have to deal with all the that come behind being disobedient. And we don't get the opportunity to choose what our consequences will be because he chastises those he loves, right? And he will chastise us because yes. he loves us. And in that chastisement is only so that we can get back in order, we can get back in position, so that we can get back in alignment. Why? So that we can receive the promise of God. See, everything that God does in our life, he does it because he loves us. And so, his love is so, it, it, it's so great and so wonderful for us that we can't even begin to understand. Because um, at, at the end of the day, only thing that he wants to happen in our lives is to see his word perform. He want, he desire for his word to perform in our lives. And by any, in any means necessary, um, glory to God, he do, um, he do what it is that he feel needs to be done so it can manifest. He, a, a, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus. So if he has to chastise us, he'll chastise us, amen, until we come to that point of obedience through the things that Christ suffered. He learned obedience. Obedience. That's in the text. Amen. Glory to God. So sometimes we do suffer through things to learn obedience. Um, hallelujah. To come into a place of obedience and submission and humility in the word of God. But we don't have to if we don't have to take that route if we just be obedient on the front end. But even amen, glory to God. And even with this, nevertheless, that the apostle is talking about today, that doesn't mean even when we're walking and we're being obedient, um, with the Lord, it doesn't mean that trials and tribulation is not going to come. They're going to come, but look, we got to, he got, we got to be like Joshua. Look, he told Joshua, look, Joshua, no man is going to be able to stand up against you all the days of your life. So that's just automatically, you know, some things, amen, something is going to rise up against you, but surely as it rise up, it's going to fall. That's why he told him, look, I need for you to be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. And he said that you may observe it. it, Here, go back to the word. That you may observe to do according to the law, which Moses, my servant, commanded you. He's back to the word. Don't look from the left or the right. 
so that you may prosper. See, we want to prosper. We want to walk in the benefit of the word, but there are conditions in order to walk in the benefit. That's why he had to tell Simon, Simon, I need you to go lunch out into the deep. Simon, I need you to lunch out into the deep. And if Simon had to stay where he was and not moved, they would have never caught the catch. He said, look, I need you to go out. And that's why even when he was questioning and he was saying, look, I've been doing this. We've done this all night. But he said, you know what? He humbled him nevertheless at your word, at your word. Because see, when God look at, look in the earth, amen, God, God moves on his word. And so as we are moving in his word, amen, God, so God, thank you, Jesus. It activate uh, what is necessary and required in the earth so that his word can be fulfilled. But we got to begin to move. Amen. We got to have a faith that has action behind it and move and operate in the word in spite of what comes up against us in spite of what we're dealing with in spite of what our challenges may be amen um glory to god thank you jesus hallelujah so that why because at the end of the day i'm just telling you god just desire for his word to manifest in your life and he don't mind look we look at the israelites he wiped out kingdoms Right, right. He wiped out kingdoms so that that word can manifest in Israelite in the Israelites life. He also wiped <laughs> out he also wiped out some of them so that the word can manifest in Israel in the Israelites life, right? Amen. I'm glad to God thank you Jesus because he said, look, he's a covenant keeper. God is a covenant mm. keeper. And so he also put them in exile. He also sent them in exile as a as a place of chastisement because they wouldn't listen. And so that they can go over there and they can and they can be in that place and so that they can so that a spirit of obedience uh amen will, will come upon them. And so he had to take them in exile and, and they had to go through some things so that they can get in order. They wouldn't understand that there is no other God outside of the one and true living God. That there was no other gods outside of him. Amen. And so that they would turn their hearts back unto him so that he can bring them back, bring them back to the place of promise. Amen. And so he does that same thing in our lives. You know, glory to God. But over there, what? Jeremiah 29. Amen. When you tell them, um, um, 29, I think it's like 13, 13 and 14, because we got to read down a little bit more. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When he, when we talk about that famous scripture that we, that we love to, um, quote, amen. Um, that the Lord, I've declared the plans for you. Amen. He was talking about them being over in captivity and bringing them back from captivity. Amen. Glory to God from the, from that place of exile where he has sent them. And so when you go a little bit further down, he said, look, when, when you, Amen. Of course, God, when you search for me in your whole heart, I'm gonna I'm gonna be found by you. Amen. And when I'm found by you, I'm gonna bring you back from the places in which I have sent you, from the places of your captivity, back into the land in which I have promised you. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna bring you back to this place. Um, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so we have to become a people who is obedient. God is looking for people in the earth who would be obedient, who would have this nevertheless attitude, who would stand up in the face of their adversity and say, nevertheless, I'm going to be unmovable and unshakable. Amen. Um, glory to God. And I, I just will not be moved. I'm going to be unmovable, steadfast, unshakable, abiding in the work of the Lord, knowing, guess what? That my labor is not in vain, that my labor is not in vain. Surely, as I move and I operate and I do what thus says the Lord. Glory to God. Thank mm. you, Jesus. Amen. He's going to make the way. He's going to make the provision. And he's going to make everything. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Everything that is necessary um, to manifest for our lives. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Glory be unto mm. God in this place. Amen. We got just a few more minutes in the church. Again, if you're on the line, you can hit star six to come in. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to give it over to Apostle right now. If I see you in the queue, we'll bring you in for your questions, prayer requests, or comments. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Amen. Apostle, Amen. Give it over to I, you. I believe that um, Lady Keisha is back. Amen. Um, I, I don't know if I heard, if you heard me, sweetie. Amen. I love you. I miss you. Amen. I enjoyed my day with you yesterday. Um, I, I just wanted to share 
I wanted you to share a little bit on um, some of this nevertheless that we've been going through together and then with just this this struggle of, of uh, what we've had to go through with, with this situation with my illness. <laughs> All I could do was laugh because it, it's been a struggle for a, a little over a, a year. Um, not with well, no. It, it, yeah, it, well, uh, amen, amen. It, it has been a never the less since um you know, y'all away. Well, no, before that, because you know the situation you're not particularly in now, but some of the situation started mm-hmm. a year ago. Yes, yes. In Florida. And it it kind of, you know, we said, well, you know, God, we're going to still stand for you. We're not going to let the in- enemy defeat us. Um, with with the situation that you began to start going through in January of last year, um, and, and with the kidney transplant, um, mm-hmm. moving before that, with the kidney transplant, they told me that it wasn't going to happen anytime soon, and I might as well, pre- well prepare for another three to five years. I mean, we keep harping on that, but it also is, it shows a testimony. It shows the never the less um, feeling and attitude towards the enemy. Nevertheless, mm-hmm. even though you like said <laughs> nevertheless, your your saying is going to take uh, three to four years, but we're saying nevertheless, you don't know the God that we serve. <laughs> God that we serve, and you know, you don't know, realize and recognize the faith that we have. What God has already told us is going to happen. Mm-hmm. So, even even through the trials and tribulation, we still had a nevertheless faith and, mm-hmm. and, and and love for God. And we were just telling the enemy, "Hey, you're not going to get us down. Even though, no matter how hard you try, how many darts you throw at our, our backs, how many uh, uh, stumbling blocks you throw in front of us." We still have victory in Jesus. So you cannot tear us down. You cannot drag us out. God is still in the ring for us. So I, that's all I have to say about that. But it, it, with this situation that we're going through now, we still have a, a nevertheless praise. Because if we don't give praise to God, we're not going to see, we're not going to have the testimony to give it to somebody else. Amen. Mm-hmm. So we still have we still have the praise we still have the worship, and God is going to see us through it. No matter what the enemy thinks that He's throwing up in front of us, we're still going to go through it. We're still going to see our He's God is still going to help us see our way through it. We don't, mm-hmm. you know, we're not scared to fight the enemy. We're not That's scared. Right. That's to, right. To to tell the enemy, hey, you you don't you think you have us down, but you don't. Mm. We're still going to praise God. We're still going to worship Him. We're still going to love Him. And we're still going to know that He's our Father, and He's still going to bring us through this in victory. Mm. And, and and I'd like to just share in closing, it, it's just really funny. God just brought something back to my attention. Uh, when we were, when we were in service um, last night, and unfortunately my wife was not able to be with us, but um, I had... Um, was able to share some words. And one of the things that I said, and this is something that we really need to get into our mouth. And, and let me just give you a little background on this. Uh, a lot of us sometimes we're, we're in a situation where we're living somewhere and, and we're not taking care of our responsibilities. And, and all of a sudden we get that 10 day notice in the mail. Hmm. My God, we, we get that 10 day notice in the mail. And, and a lot of times we'll stretch it and we'll say, okay, well, we're going to let them, we're going to let them uh, take us to court. And what it is is what we've gotten in the mail is a 10-day notice to quit. And then when we get to court, we're told we've got to go, that, that it's an eviction notice. Well, see, when it comes to us as people of God, we don't have to wait to send a 10-day notice. We don't have to wait to get to court. We can tell the enemy, you are evicted right this moment. I give you notice now that you are to evacuate the premises right now. 
because see the judge and the and 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 and, and the jury have already spoken on our behalf, and that's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That when the enemy comes up against us, we can put up that sign and say eviction notice has been given, and he has got to back off. In Jesus' name. Apostle, what's in your hands? Woman of God, I just thank you, amen, for this opportunity. I bless you, I bless you, I bless you, I honor you and your position. I, I, I just thank God for this platform and that God has allowed me this time uh, to be able to share this opportunity, even in the situation that I'm in, and that I was obedient to still go forth. And we love you. Amen. We thank you for your prayers and for your support. Amen. Um, we, amen. Um, we love you as well. Love both of you as well. In the name of Jesus, just do thank you for just coming, sharing your gift uh, with the In the Church TV and Radio broadcast family. And so we bless God for um, for you and for your obedience. That surely there is a reward. Amen. In the majestic name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory be unto God. We want to thank each and every last one of you for joining us in the church. Amen. On tonight where we are shining the light of God's word in the church to discuss and resolve real everyday issues that are taking place around the world throughout the nation, exposing the good, the bad, and the ugly as we engage in powerful conversation. Amen. A powerful conversation, ministry, preaching, teaching, just bringing forth the word um, in the manner in which he need for it to come forth in the lives of his children we thank god that you have been blessed on tonight and we're just believing we're believing we're believing that you have a nevertheless in your spirit that on tonight as you heard the word and as that we have been dialoguing that a flame of fire have just been ignited within your spirit man and that you are ready to you are ready you are ready you are ready to move on and to see what the end is going to be that you're ready to run that race like never before that the fuel amen has just been amen just have caught on fire hallelujah thank you jesus glory to god and the enemy ain't gonna know what it is to do with you as you just move forth amen in the promise in the will of the lord amen in the majestic name of Jesus. Glory be unto God. We will see you next week in the church at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on the same platform. Amen. Um, Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And until next time, dynamic people of God. Until next time, go in the love, joy, peace, favor, and the anointing of our most holy savior who is none other than jesus christ and it is in his most holy and majestic name that we've convened in the church amen amen and amen to god be the absolute glory thank you jesus hallelujah 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 thank you jesus glory 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 to god amen god bless